Hey guys, I got dressed today. <laughs> year three, I think, I mean, the start of year three, we were facing shutdowns, you know, and so really being appreciative of the fact that we had an email list, we had a way to communicate with people more than just through social media to say, okay, this is what we're doing now. You can still reach us. Kind of keeping that integrity of business structure alive. We kind of had this, like, we were talking to each other and I was taking the Silas, like, little gifts and care packages. <laughs> Just keeping morale up and keeping us connected was important to me. Hi. At the same time, we were looking at like, what can we do, do outside of this? We were talking about pop-ups and we were talking about this whole like digital sale thing. Like, what can we do up to the point where we can't do it? Just trying to keep people engaged. And it was, it was kind of fun. Yes, it was a little bit of a season where we did something Thank you. we never dreamed we would be doing. Using a roller clip. Around that time frame is where I also connected with Sarah Hotelling with Vintage 79, and that began Blush the Boutique. And so now I think we have close to a dozen um, boutique partners. That was a big shift in you know, the year of the pivot. We did business a little bit differently when we reopened. Now we are kind of more of a storefront where we're serving people not just to do their hair, but to you know, give them a place to shop that's different. Bye everyone. Bye everyone. <laughs>